to lead us in our children's message. So if you watched last week's live worship, we sang one of my favorite hymns at the end called This Little Light of Mine. So that got me thinking. So this morning, I brought this big old light bulb. <laughs> now, I'm sure that y'all know what light bulbs are. We have them in here. You have them at your house, your kitchen, your dining room, your living room. Some are bigger, some are smaller. The ones that go in here are about this big compared to this. Okay, but I also brought this little tiny night light flashlight. Now, which one do you think puts off more light? Probably this one because it's bigger, but does that mean this one's not important? Well, if you put this one in your bathroom at night and you get up to go to the bathroom, you're probably going to be less likely to stump your toe on something and your toe's going to be very thankful for that. But did you know that the Bible says that you and I are lights too? Matthew chapter 5 says, you are the light of the world, but how can we be a light? The next verse tells us that let your light shine before men so that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. So by doing good deeds, we're being a light to the world. Now, like I said, do we have to be this big old light bulb to go shine everywhere? No, some of us are just like this little night light. And so even though we may be little and small, sometimes we put off the bigger light than the bigger ones. So we need to keep on doing good deeds so that we can be the lights that shine the way to Jesus. And that's something we should pray about. So let us pray. Father in heaven, help us to continue to do good deeds so that our light will shine before men and lead them to you and your son, Jesus Christ. We pray in your name. Amen. <laughs> 